Hi and welcome, my name is Katka and you're watching Synchro Shakti. Today I wanted to do with a classic rice experiment. So let's see what happens. Alright, so what we have here is a box of rice, it's regular rice, cooked rice. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer some of this into both of these jars. Okay? As you can see, there is nothing special in any of these jars. They're both clean. So, there you go. I'm going to put some of this rice. As you can see, both jars have normal regular rice in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to seal it. Okay, we're going to close it. So, I'm just going to close it. These are sealed closed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to send energy to each of this. So to this one on the left, we're going to send the energy of hate. Alright, so this is bad rice. I hate you rice. You suck. Alright, negative energy dirty energy put to this rice now to this rice we're going to give it the energy of of love all right so we're going to tell this rice i love you sending it love joy abundance happiness good vibes okay we're gonna send it a kiss so we've given it the energy of love all right day two Nothing seems too different. So this is the one that's got hate and this is love. Uh, nothing seems different. There is some some vaporization sorry. The vaporization inside. I don't quite understand what that is, but um yeah, that is all. That's the only change that has happened. Uh, same thing here, there is the water droplets, nothing inside, but the rice seems to be fine. What is that over there? Okay, I don't know what that is, but there is some dot kind of thing in there. Let me see if that is there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah a few dots. It's probably okay. We shall continue and see. Okay, so we are on day three. I am just picking this up, and I don't see. Hi, huh, see the the color seems to be changing slightly on the inside. That's right. <laughs> On the inside, you can see it's, it's becoming slightly brown. This is on the hate one. Here as well, uh, you can see that it is the vaporization. Sorry, I keep pushing the camera to the side. The vaporization is happening. And there's a little bit of a mold that is forming on the bottom. Alright, day 4 I wanted to uh, shoot in the daytime because I wanted to see something. Alright, so the one that is love, okay, the one has kind of, you know, de is decomposing, has slight, uh, has a, um, whatever that is, uh, that's happening, okay. Now, what I just noticed is this thing's decomposing, right, like it should be, because it's crazy hot. Oops, oops, sorry. And this one hate one i just noticed you can see there's a white growth of some um here can you see that entire top part yeah the white thing that's not rice that is whatever spores or whatever you want to call it so there's some sort of a growth of a creature thing in here so cool uh, cool development i uh, should keep you um in the know for more and of course there's some stuff happening here as well exciting things okay day five uh, the one that has heat on it has all kinds of weird stuff growing in it inside of it as you can see all till the top even up here 
you can see the the fungus has grown and it's disgusting and the one <coughs> that says love on it what is that yeah this one is completely different it's decomposing like it naturally should be decomposing in this climate as you can see it's become all liquidy and stuff it's got a little bit of little bit of growth in there i think yeah here there's a little bit of growth that's it Otherwise, it's a natural process i don't know what the hell is up with this one <laughs> this one's just weird <laughs> but yeah, you can see the difference is quite quite evident day six in the heat one some nasty growths inside it's become really nasty and the love one it's basically disintegrated normally it's disintegrating mostly still okay there's a little growth here it's slightly weird but the way is pretty normal disintegration process uh, day seven it's a weird thing inside love is just disintegrating naturally yeah, that's still that same thing but i haven't grown that much yeah let's grow a little bit but mostly pretty much fine we shall see day eight of the rice experiment the one that has heat on it so as you can see is become a nasty thing and it's kind of let me try to go inside you see all the spores in there yeah um i don't know what exactly is happening there's all kind of stuff growing in there um mm -hmm. and love one can disintegrating still has a black one there that's growing but otherwise it's kind of disintegrating normally as it should in this climate tune in again tomorrow okay day nine heat is <clears throat> still got all kinds of stuff going in it but it's also kind of melting and love hair is again pretty much naturally melting and that same black stuff is still there not growing as much but everything else seems fine okay day 10 two very very different results this one is heat you guys show to you properly heat heat yeah Yeah, give me the heebie jeebies. Okay, and this one is love. Very different. You gotta remember that the climate here is extremely hot. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so that was the rice experiment. I did that for about, I would, I want to say eleven days, but then I still have it here with me. it for 10 days uh the 10th day i forgot so i filmed the final one is on the 11th day and this is about 4 5 days later i haven't cleaned it out i still have it this is heat it's creepy as it's really creepy so all kinds of weird colors all kinds of weird things growing in it and this is love which is still rather peaceful it's got a white formation on top and some black stuff down below but two very 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 different ugh, it's creepy to watch Two very different reactions. Now, I am not drawing any conclusions from it except the following conclusions. Now, um, I did have someone come into my room uh, earlier this week. Actually, I had two people come into the room earlier this week, and I showed them the rice experiment, and both of them were like, "Oh my God, 
you have done something you've taken out the rice you have changed it you've done something because the results are quite dramatic now let me assure you and that made me realize that there is uh, obviously an effect that other people are seeing and are uh, responding to now let me assure you that i did not put my hand in there and take out rice because see, i would die if i did that one of them the loved one started kind of melting away in pretty much immediately while the hate one started forming all kinds of beings inside now the climate here was about um, 40 sorry uh, 35 to 39 degrees celsius on an average in the past about 15 days uh, both of the caps have white um, uh, what is it tape on it so both of them are sealed okay so that no air can enter it so here is it this is the final thing okay heat looks like some sort of uh, weird brain or something is formed inside of it <laughs> and this one is still pretty normal so that is it i'm going to clean it out tomorrow cuz i don't want to look at it right now but here is the conclusion that i'm drawing out of it the conclusion is very simple both of them started off as rice cooked rice very dramatic uh, results both of them are very very different as you can see so the only conclusion i'm drawing from it is that there was a effect of consciousness and energy on the on the rice of course both of them were kept close to each other so i'm sure energy is could use so both of them would have fed off each other's energy that is my perception of it so the conclusion i'm drawing out of this is that the more you are in the energy of love as opposed to the energy of hate the more you are allowing things to kind of naturally dissolve in your reality the things that don't belong to you and kind of staying in a very firm space as opposed to hate which basically breeds a lot of other stuff that you don't need a lot of icky stuff so that is my conclusion from the rice experiment you are free to draw your own conclusions let me kind of show you again okay you disgusting that's hate this is love Uh, the whole thing is up to you to make a conclusion but there is definitely an evident uh, change or uh, um, difference in the reaction the both the rice took to the same climate to the same environment to conditions to same exactly everything it was kept right here on my dressing table with no conditional difference everything was kept same place so i don't know why one reacted differently but one did react differently than the other one uh, and i do believe it is because of the effect of consciousness on it so you draw your conclusions and take whatever you want to i'm not telling you what to believe this is what i am taking out of it so instead of seething in hate kind of like watch it and allow it to dissolve in your own embrace so that is my message for the week and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you very very soon with another video in fact there's a whole bunch of videos that have been filmed i'm just editing it so expect more stuff coming on this channel uh, go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you soon